In the name of Amin the Supreme, the all-powerful, the one and only true Lord, and Amin we trust as the Republic of Mentelec, the true 144,000 being gathered in this day and time, the Mentelians. Menzeka Aminu to all my Mentelian brothers and sisters out there, registered members of the Republic of Mentelec, and to all future Mentelians who have yet to find their way home to the Republic of Mentelec, which is Amin's covenant. I send greetings out to you, and I send peace out to you in our Mentelian language by saying to you, Menzeka Aminu. Good evening, I'm your host, the intellectual Nibin Menkare. And since it's meant to like radio, and tonight we're going to be discussing the difference between almond seed and Eve seed. I've spoken about this in um, a past broadcast, but I want to go in greater depth about this tonight. I feel it's necessary, right? Especially with the uh, the class that I did on Sunday when I started speaking more on direct current and alternating current, right? And I said those who are of the Eve seed, right, the ones who are the carbon copies, the clones, of those who came here who are directly of, of, of the projection of Amun, because you have certain things on the earth that are part of the projection of Amun, and then you have those here who are carbon copies, right? You have black carbon copies, because the first E seeds are what you would call, quote-unquote, black people, right? Carbon copies, right? Those who were cloned here on earth. And then you had your Africans, and then you had your East Indians, and then you had your Asians, and then you had your, uh, uh, you know, your Caucasians, and all these other races that came out of them, um, weaker versions, mentally weak, physically weaker versions of the almond beings. So all of these humans who were born of a woman, born of a single woman, right, a Eve seeds, those who were cloned here, those who were... Uh, created in the waters, right? Because, again, the waters are a euphemism for something else. Yes, there was a massive creation in the water because I said the water of this planet was used like a Petri dish, but those seeds were housed in cloned women. I'm going to say it again. Those seeds were housed in cloned women. Those first cloned women were black women, so-called black women who were clones of the almond seed, the serpent seed. Those were your first Eve seed. That's why, if you notice, the scientists are always talking about the mitochondria DNA. They're talking about the mitochondria DNA and the African Eve because the scientists are on to it, but they don't understand the whole account of what really happened. See, the, see the Bible and the beginning of, the, of Eve, and then you have the story of the scientists and the, you know, the account where they're talking about the African Eve and how all life started in Eve. They're both right. But this part's missing. We're going to fill them in tonight. As I said, you had these clones that were prepared in the waters of this planet. And they were also, the creations, excuse me, the creations were prepared in the waters of this planet. Right? And they were used or they were housed in the bodies of the cloned women that were here. Right? What you call the Eves. And the woman and the man did come out of the woman in the creation of woman and man. The man did come out of the woman, not the other way around. The woman was created first because first the serpent seeds got here, the ruling seeds got here. Because again, the serpent seed is symbolic. The serpent seed is symbolic of the rulership seed, or the ruling seed, or the first seed, or the first bloodline to walk here. The Ammonites, the almond beings, they were the first bloodline to walk here. They had that reptilian genetic or DNA in them, which became the ruling class seed here. And they used the serpent because, again, the serpent represented communication, right? I said in the class on Sunday that the serpent represented communication, right? Also, uh, uh, a direct current. The serpent represented direct current and those who were being direct power. So an artificial seed had to be created in the second part to do the work here on the planet. So these almond beings began cloning themselves, and in cloning themselves, they utilized the clones, the female clones, to house the creation that they were making in the waters, right, to be the genetic material of female bodies. Because, you know, again, this is why you got the babies born with water in the system, the ambiotic sacs, right? They're stored in the in the women. Same way you see how children are made, and then they, what the scientists are doing today, where they take the sperm and the egg, right, 
and they breed it in the Petri dish, and then they put it into the woman. They sow it into the woman. We did that first. The almond beings were the first ones to do that first with the creation of the human race. They created them like test in test tubes, but they just used the water on the planet as the giant test tube of the Petri dish, and they sold them in the cloned women, right, the so-called black women. And again, this is where your, uh, uh, people started to, uh, um, they started to multiply from the woman's seed, the Eve seed. But prior to that, there was the first women here and the first men here who are of Amun. Those were the first seeds. The first ones who were projected images of Amun on earth. Right? And then after they did that, after they came here on the earth being the first ones to walk on the planet, right, the first ones to um, move about on the planet, and they decided that they needed people here to caretake the planet, that's when they started with the cloning of themselves and the creation of the E seeds. Right? And it happened in stages. It happened in stages. You first had your, uh, um, you had your first ones, the clones, who were your uh, seeds of Eve, which were black, right, so-called black. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and then you had all the other races to follow. So this eat so until they produced females in the image of the Eve seed, right? There was first the women of Amun. The uh, uh, almond seed, the women of almond, produced the Eve seed out of them, and from the Eve seed, they produced the other races of women, and even the races of males that came out of the Eve seed. Okay, the almond seed was the first ones to walk the planet, and they made cloned and created versions or lesser versions of themselves. How you know that today? Because the seeds of the almond being still exist on the planet today, right? And they're being gathered in the elect. That's what we're talking about in the 144,000 being gathered. Those are the direct projected images, the direct projected images, those who would receive direct current from the Amun being in the future, the ones who created everything in existence who are moving in the future, they would receive communication, connection, and direction, right, to move forward into the outer dimensional states, a fourth dimension and beyond. They would receive those transmissions. Right, that is the ones who are being of, who are being gathered in the of the elect today. They are the direct bloodline descendants, direct the direct projected um, projected descendants of the Amun being. That elect are being gathered today in the Mentellians. They're going to be the ones who are going to have direct connection to Amun. They're going to have direct connection to Amun only, and they're going to answer only to Amun. These are going to be the people who are coming out of the so-called black race, who I refer to as the brighter bronze race or the bright race. They're going to be the ones coming out. Those are the ones who are going to be the projected images of Amun on Earth. We've been coming here for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. We keep coming back here as projected images of Amun. So we exist in every time frame. The elect exist in every time frame going what you call in the past, and this present and into the future. So the projected image of ourselves is just moving through here. And then you have those who will constantly move in the three-dimensional state who are of the creation and those who are the clones. The black races are, are the clones of Amun. The human race are the creations of Amun. All right? And they work hand in hand. They're both of Eve's seed. They're both of the Eve seed. That's why when those so-called the Israelites and all these people keep talking about Adam and Adam and Adam, but they keep on neglecting the fact that in their Bible that they talk so much about that it's making mention of the woman's seed and the serpent seed. They didn't say Adam's seed. They didn't say the man's seed. They said the woman's seed and the serpent seed. Because, truth be told, the woman does come from the man in the creation point. In the creation point of Adam and Eve, the woman comes out, the man, excuse me, the man comes out of the woman. The mitochondria DNA is right. That's how the almond being made it. But there is no creation point for the Amun being. We have conversion points, and when we converted ourselves into dark matter and came here and projected our image here on earth, we projected our image here on earth, and everyone who is of the elect are projected images of Amun, those who are of the elect. And those who are not of the elect, they will not be of Amun. They will move up and away from here. Because you got, like I said, in these last days and time, Amun is calling the projected seeds back, or should I say calling them forward. 
Amun is raising the projected seeds forward again. He's raising them, the Amun being are raising them from amongst the three-dimensional beings and raising them into the fourth dimension. They're being rebooted. They're being brought into alignment with the future selves or the future Amun. They're being brought into alignment. Because everybody I said, everybody who was of the elect, who was of the Amun seed, they were the ones who were back in Egypt. They were back in Sumeria. They were ruling back then. They were of the elect back then, the chosen, the ruling class, the supreme people. So now when we speak about supremacy today as the elect, they when, I, when this message goes out, it's only going to go out to the chosen few, to the elect who are still of that projected image. They're going to know automatically to come into the alignment with Amun because they were of that bloodline back then. They were of that projection back then, and they're going to be of that projection in the future. They're going to come forward. They're not going to have to ask any questions. They're not going to be like, well, I need to know more about this. I need to study. They're not going to do that. They're just going to come because they were already here. They're going to come because they were already here. They're going to hear the call and come, and those who are not of Amun, they're going to leave. The ones who are of Eve seed, the ones who are raising up the so-called black female is God, because the black female is the clone. The bright woman is the real woman. The brighter bronze woman, the one who is of the almond seed, of the serpent seed, is the real woman, the first woman. The black female, which you call the black female, is the clone of the bright woman. She is the dark version of the bright woman. And after that, all other women came out of that. Same way. Where the bright man, the one who carries the soul, just like the woman who carries the soul, they're the first ones here. And everybody else after that became watered down version of spiritual energy. Right? And they were put under control of the lunar calendar and of the lunar phases. They were put under control of lunar phases or the lunar connection here. Because they were not meant to have a solar connection. You couldn't have a whole bunch of people carrying a straight on, full on, direct solar connection and current because it would be too much power and too much energy on the planet. So they had to move by spiritual energy. Those who were created and those who were cloned, they had to move by spiritual energy. They had to move by lunar energy. They are of the spirit. Those who are of the spirit are not of Amun. They are clones or creations of Amun. This is why you hear these people in religion talking about how they fear the Lord, how they fear the Lord, how they fear the Lord. If you're really of the Lord, then you don't fear the Lord. That's like fearing yourself. If you're really of the Lord, whose true name is Amen, then you don't fear the Lord. If you, the, only, the only reason, the way you fear the Lord is if you're not of the Lord. The only way you go against the covenant of Amen is if you're not of the covenant of Amen. People will always show themselves like you hear today. You hear a lot of these people who are talking about the black woman is God and whatever the case may be, raising up the image of the, of the black female. Right? The Eve seeds. Because who is the first Eve? The first Eve is the so called black female. Or the so called black woman who came out of the bright woman. She's the Eve. She is the African Eve. She is the black Eve. She is the one who everybody bloodline everybody seed was seeded into first. She was the first one to see who who all life was seeded into when she was cloned from the bright women. She was the one that was seeded here to carry life. Of the human race. She is the first human. The so-called black woman is the first human. But she was um, she was converted from the bright woman. The our woman or the almond woman or the almond beings. She was converted. And in the conversion, like I said, they lose memory. They lose connection. They're not direct projections. When I said that. Those in the human race move on alternating current. They had an alternating current that is based on a solar or excuse me, on a spiritual connection, a lunar connection, a water based connection. Because in the waters you can place anything. You can place all kinds of poison. You can place all kinds of diluted material and things like that. And that's the real reason why a lot of people of the spiritual realm are mentally off uh, off centered because there's a lot of material elements in the water a lot of different me uh, material elements in the water right a lot of different metals that are meshing right with each other a lot of different metals and elements that are meshing with each other that are not supposed to mesh with each other and that throws off the mental connection because how do you make connection with a higher frequency through that mental or that metal connection there's always a form of metal or element that is attached 
in the mind or in the excuse me in the brain that makes connection. Same way you have radio receivers and antennas that have some sort of uh, uh, metal or some sort of precious metal or some type of metal that makes connection. So just like you have in the spiritual beings and the water-based beings, how they were created in the water, there was elements in the water that were not supposed to mesh together. And it's through a frequency, and it's locked everything into an alternating current. Things were locked into an alternating current once the frequency and the different metals were mixed and they were throwing off the currents and they throwing off the frequency to almond. So they was not going to receive direct current. Those who are of the projection, those who carry the soul, they receive direct current because they carry the solar connection. They were the projections. Again, like I said, everybody who is of the black race don't have souls. They don't. They don't have that. Those who are of the those who supposedly have soul of the of the black race, they're not black. They're of the bright race. They're of the solar race. The black race is spiritual. They're spiritual. The black race is not soulful. I know I was saying that in the past and whatnot, but the only reason I said that is because, you know, I was trying I was trying to break down the whole thing of soul and spirit within the in the so called black race and the bright race. That terminology of bright didn't come to me or wasn't transmitted to me as of yet. So when people say, you know, and I and I kept saying in the class that certain people are of almond. If you didn't catch the class on Sunday, I kept because the brother kept saying we are of almond. I said no, not everybody's of almond. Just because you so called black don't mean you're of almond. You got certain people who are of the beast or they are of the Eve seed because right now Eve seed is controlled by the beast, by the pale man. It's controlled by him, right? Certain I said certain people are of, of the Eve seed. The Eve seeds are not of almond. Right, they're not projected images of Amun. The bright women, right, the soul women or the solar women are projected images of Amun, not the so called black woman. She's not a she's not projection of Amun. But everybody verinates the so called black woman here on earth. Because they all know her place, those who go back even even if you look in the Vatican, what did they have up there? That is the verination they said the black Madonna and the child. The black Madonna and the child is representing Eve and her child. It's representing Eve and her child. That's what the shrine of the Black Madonna is really about. It's representing or it's verinating or worshiping the Eve seed, the black woman, or the the black female, the black woman. Right? Because they know that's where they come from. And like I said, just scientists are now on board with that, with the whole African Eve thing and lifestyle in Africa. They right. They right in the waters. Not on land, but in the waters. Right? So those seeds were sown, and now, like I said, today, the seeds are being separated. The seeds are being separated in this day and time, right? Because the projections have to receive direct transmission from Amun in this day and time. The directions have to receive transmission from Amun, and they can't be amongst the Eve seeds, because the Eve seeds are not going to receive anything. The Eve seeds are in control are controlled by the beast now. How does it, how does the beast control the Eve seed through emotion? Through emotion, through anger, through envy, through jealousy. Right. That's why I said those people who came in here and left out of there, those are Eve seeds. They're not of, they're not of almond. The ones who come in here and leave out of here, they're not of they're not of almond. They're not projected images of almond. They're being phony. They're Eve seeds. They're of the black seed. They're of the black race. They're of the black seed. They're not of the bright seed. That's why if you notice a lot of these black males that they are very emotional, very effeminate acting, right? They don't they don't act like real men. Because they're not real men, they're males. They they come out of the seed of the woman or the female. That's why they worship in the image of the female. Certain people who was in the Republican mental act, they use insert they using the image where they putting up the image of the so called black woman. And they're saying that heaven is heaven is in of coming going to come through the so-called black woman. Certain people who was here talking about heaven going to come through the so-called black woman. That's Eve sees right there. They didn't say almond. Funny they didn't say almond. They said heaven going to come through the black woman. You understand? They didn't say nothing about almond. These were people that were here. Ain't that funny? I said the people who are, who are not of almond. They're the they're the women. They're the um, seeds of the Eve. They're Eve seeds. They're of the woman. They're not of almond. Right? 
They they always show themselves. I told you, either going to be of almond or you're going to be of the female seed. You're going to be of either of almond or you're going to be of the Eve seed. They always expose themselves. Like I said, that effeminate nature. And I said those who are of the Eve seeds, they're always going to be focused on people, place, and possession. They're always going to be focused on that. Oh, I don't like this person over here. You got too many black people in your organization. You're supposed to be about almond. You ain't supposed to be worrying about no people here in, in the organization. That means you Eve seeds because Eve seeds can only focus on, on the three-dimensional people, place, and possession. The almond seeds are focused on the power because almond is calling – the uh, almond is calling the projected images, right, toward this covenant as the elect. So the true almond seeds, the true serpent seeds are focused on the collective. They focused on the power, and they know the true power is in the collective. They focused on that. They're not focused on individuals, but the Eve seeds focus on individuality, right? They focus on um, things, people, places, and possessions, the three Ps, people, places, and possessions. I got this, I got that, I got this amount of money. Oh, this person is this, and that person is that. Right? Oh, I want to go over here, I'm over here, I'm about this, I'm going over here, that, there. These three things, the material form. That's how you know who's EC. They emotional. They emotional. They love to argue. They love confusion and chaos. They can't live without chaos and confusion. Everything will be peaceful and things like that. They'll always try to find some kind of uh, uh, confusion. They'll try to create, and if there is none, they'll create confusion. That's the black female and the black male, aka the black man and the black woman. I'm going to just say it like that because, again, the black man and the black woman are not of almond. The so called black man and black woman of today are not of almond. They're of the beast. They're going to follow the beast. Because, like I said, right now, the beast is in charge of the human race. Who is the beast? The so called white man. The last of Eve's children. The last of Eve's seed, they in control. The so-called white man, the last ones born of Eve's seed, the so-called black woman, right? They in charge right now. Back and forth. If you ever notice, again, this is why the so-called Israelites are always saying that they come out of the same seed as who? Esau. The Esau and Jacob story, a.k.a. the black race and the white race. They always saying that. Now, is that real? Is that real? It might as well be, it, you might, you know, I said it was symbolic when they were describing it in the Bible, right, of coming out of the same mother, right, because I said they were talking about America. But then, if you go back further into the real, the reality of the uh, account, that's really speaking about Eve. Because one, you have one symbolic account where it's talking about the two nations coming out of America, and then you had the real account, which you're talking about the seeds coming out of Eve, the so-called black woman. That's real. See, it's not about Adam. It's not about Adam. Adam is your first, you know, mangina. Let's just say it like that. Adam was your first mangina. He, Eve was in charge. That's why in your story, she ain't listen to Adam. She just did what she wanted to do. She just did her, and Adam was like, oh, you know, now we all going to be destroyed, and this, that, and the third. And, you know, basically, the serpent went to Eve because Eve was in charge. It was Eve's seed. That's why the serpent, meaning the serpent seed, the ruling class, they went to who? Eve. They didn't go to Adam because Adam wasn't even considered any, you know, anybody of any real power or discernment because it was not about Adam. It was all about Eve. Like they say in the society, all about Eve. It was all about Eve. They went to her because Eve was the only one. Adam was just some, um, what's the word I want to say? Some, just something that came, you know, just some male that came out of Eve to give her a helpmate, to give some, give her basically a sperm donor. That's all. He was just there to give, be a sperm donor to Eve, to help fertilize her eggs. That's it. But it's really her seed. That's why I said the eggs belong to Eve. That's why I talk about the serpent seed and Eve seed. Why, if, if Adam was important, they would have said Adam seed and the serpent seed. But they said Eve seed and the serpent seed. Why? Ask the Israelites that. Those of you so-called Israelites who are listening, ask the Israelites, why is it always speaking about Eve? See, if it's all about the man and the man and woman supposed to be under the man, why are they always making reference in the Bible to Eve? See, I bet you they won't answer that. They won't even know how to answer. They won't even begin to know how to answer that. Because they keep saying it's about the man. The Lord is dealing with the man. Right? 
the Lord, the true Lord, whose name is Amen, is only dealing with the bright race of the elect or the chosen. That's all the Lord Amen was always dealing with was the chosen, the elect, not the world. Not the world. Y'all got part of the, the account right of the story, right? When you're talking about the one-third, the one-third that you're talking about is the elect. And the two-thirds that you so-called Israelites are talking about are Eve's seeds. Those are the people who are not of Amen. They're not of the Lord. They're not the men and women of the Lord. They are the uh, carbon copies, right? The creations, the conversions, right? That's it. That's all. And when they were converted and when they were created, they lost what? They lost mental connection. Some of them was not even born when I talked about the direct current that goes directly from that goes directly to Amun and the and the Cornu Amonis, that part in the that part in the brain, the Cornu Amonis that looks like a like two horns, or they call it Amun's horns, or it kind of looks like a serpent as well. That you have one side that was supposed to be alternating current, which is how you communicate with the humans, and then you have the direct current, which only the elect are going to grow, which goes directly to Amun. I said the humans don't grow that. They don't get to connect that. They don't have that second connection. I say I say the first connection. They have the second connection, which is why again humans move in seconds. They don't move in first. They don't move in milliseconds. They move in. Uh, they move in seconds. Milliseconds are really really first. They don't move in seconds. They move in milliseconds. Excuse me. They don't move in milliseconds. They move in seconds. In other words, one two move. One two move. One two move. They don't move one, 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 one. That would be milliseconds. They don't have the direct current to Amun. Only the elect will have that. The E seeds will be, you know, controlled or put the uh, so-called beast will be con- will control the so-called E seed. That's why I said this world is given over into the hands of the so-called wicked, right? In your Bible, your, your Israelites always quoting that this world is given into the into the hands of the wicked. Who is that? The beast, the creation. They allowed, Amun allowed the creations to rule the world. They allowed them to rule over Eve's seed. They allowed them to rule over Eve's seed. Why? Because Amun is dealing with the elect. Amun deals with the upper mental. Amun don't deal with the submental. Amun allows the beast to deal with or be in charge of the submental. That's why all these people are under the control, mental control of the beast. Because Amun allows that. Amun basically let the beast be in charge of the human race. At first, the so-called, the clones, the clones were in charge of the human race. Your clones. This is why all over the world, at the beginning, the so-called black race, you know, and they were supervised by the brighter race, they were in charge of all these governments and kingdoms on the earth. The clones of the Amun beings. They were in charge. Right? They were given power over the world. And then they fell out of power, and then the almond beings put the last seed, the last children, out of the uh, uh, out of the um, Eve seed in charge, which is the Caucasians. They put them in charge after that. After the clones of Eve, you got the clones of Eve, right? Or the clones, I should say, the clones of the almond seed, which is Eve seeds. You have them that were put in power. And then they were taken out of power, and then the creations were put in power. They were put in power. But always the Amun kept their distance away from everything and oversaw everything. And again, the creation, the beast, the last seeds of Eve, the the so-called Caucasians, they made a connection to Amun stronger at one point than the so-called Black Sea. They made a connection. They knew that Amun was the Lord. They bore witness to it. Again, that's why I say you George Washington, all these other people who were Freemasons, they knew about Amun. They knew about Amun when they set this society up. Amun allowed them to get rid of the last of the Eve seeds in the so-called Native Americans. And all Amun allowed them to get rid of those people because they were not part and parcel with the evolution. So Amun allowed them to be wiped out. Amun showed the last of E C, the Caucasians, right, who belong to Amun as well. They belong to Amun as tools, right? He allowed them to wipe all these people out who were of the who were of the um, 
of the um, creation and the conversion. He allowed them to wipe those people out, to bring new knowledge, new technology onto the earth that they were going to transmit through the so-called Caucasians. So they gave them the technology, the gun, and all that, the, uh, uh, the diseases, the bombs, and all that to get rid of people and clear them off the planet. Right? It gave them the power, gave them the authority on earth. But they were not supposed to have authority over the bright seat. They were not supposed to have authority over the bright seat. Those who knew and were in contact with Amun, they were not supposed to have any authority over them. They would only have authority over the so-called black race and all the other dark races, but not the bright seed. Not the ones who had their soul intact, the ones who were the projections of Amun. They would not have any control over them. And for, a long, for the longest time, they were not raised up. That connection was broken. And people were trying to reconnect that transmission to Amun, right? This is why you're so-called, uh, uh, the bright the bright men who were born, the projected ones who were born out of the Black Sea, they would always join organizations and movements and things like that, and they were trying to find a connection to the Most High, to the Lord. They were trying to make that connection. They didn't see themselves as the rest of the so-called black race who were basically dealing with all kinds of foolishness and, and, uh, uh, and, and stupidity. They were trying to make a higher connection to the Creator. So Amun would give those people light. Sometimes they came through Freemasonry. Sometimes they came through Islam like the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Egypt, some of them came through Israel. Some of them came through different, th different things trying to make that connection to the Lord because they knew it was something more than just being so-called black people because your black people were meant to be slaves just like your so-called white people were meant to be slaves. The whole human race were meant to serve the bright race. The black and the white were meant to serve the bright race, those who carried the soul power. Because again, like I said, your Eve seed don't have souls. They don't have souls. They have spirits. That's why if you notice today, your so-called black race, they ain't, they doing the same thing the so-called white man doing. They tattooing they self up. They putting them big ass holes in their ear. They cutting on they self. They killing they self. They doing all kind of crazy things that the so-called white man is doing. They're nothing but black versions, carbon copies of the so-called white man. Why? Because they carry the same spiritual energy. The so-called black female today has no problem getting with the white man. You know what I'm saying? The black woman got no problem being with the white man. The white, the black man nowadays, he ain't got no problem being with the white woman or other races because they carry the spiritual energy uh, uh, of the Eve seeds. They carry the spiritual energy of the Eve seeds. They don't have no problem with that. They're going to always, they're never going to see a problem with that. You had certain people who early on might have did that, but then later on they seen that, the, that that was wrong to do. But then you got certain ones who will never see it. They'll be like, they'll listen to this and they'll be like, oh, that's crazy. This guy's racist. They'll never understand it because they feel like we all the same. We all human. And they are right. They are right. They are the same as the so-called white man. The black race is the same now spiritually as the so-called white race because they are all of Eve seed. They are all born of Eve seed. They're not of the serpent seed. Even though the so-called elect, I mean, excuse me, the elite, the elite, the Illuminati, they want to be of the serpent seed. They trying to make that connection. They want to be of the serpent seed. But they know they're not. They know that the true projected ones of the serpent seed, of the almond seed, are going to come. They know they're coming. They know that they're going to come. They knew that they would come back. And they know that they're coming out of the so-called black race. They know they're not going to be the black race, but they know that those projected bright ones or those ones of soul are going to come out of the black race who they've managed to lead spiritually. They've managed to lead them spiritually. This is why they, this is why they always try to go extra hard to make sure that they find the so-called black people who have souls because they want your soul connection. They want your soul power. They want you to sell your soul or give your soul over to them and follow them spiritually because each time I said that your soul is gone, right, you belong to them. They don't have to. That's one less power that that's going to work against them. One less um, person they have to worry about who will be in power over them because they know when that soul energy comes and that solar holocaust and that solar projection hits the planet again, they know it's going to put those soul people forward and into power bring them into alignment they know that that's going to knock them into alignment along with this projection that's coming directly from Armin is going to knock them directly into alignment they know it's coming 
So they're trying to prepare themselves right now. That's why they're trying to become one race. They're trying to cause a confusion of faces. This is why they're trying to mix their seed with the black woman. And it ain't just the so-called white man. It's the so-called Asian man because the Asians, they are of Eve seed as well. The East Indians, they all mixing their seed with the so-called black woman, the Eve. They all going back into the Eve. That's why if you notice the so-called Chinese are over there in Africa. They're not just over there in Africa because they buying up all the land and the rivers and all the other stuff and putting the stuff there for Chinese. They, and in Jamaica, they're doing it because they also mix and they see with the black woman. Look, check it out if you don't believe me. You don't think I'm telling the truth. Check it out. They mix and they see with the black woman too. The so-called Asians are laying up with the black woman. Right along with the white man because no the Asian seed is over with. The so-called Asian seed is over. I told you what they did. They did this thing where they made sure they was telling the women over there because there was too many girls in Asia. They said they told the women to stop having girl children. They wanted more boy children for the armies. And they did that for so long that now it's more men, Asian men, than there are Asian women. So they don't. So their numbers are going to get shorter. Their numbers are shorter. So they have to keep their seed going, and plus they want to put – you know, uh, uh, the mulattoes, you know, that are fathered by the Asians and by the Caucasians in those areas to replace the so-called black. That's why they're going into Eve seed again. They're going to mix their seed with Eve because they want to put their children there. They want to put their mixed race mulatto children into those areas. That's why they're doing that. Check it out. You understand that? They want to put their mulatto children into those areas. They have to go into the Eve again. But see, we don't have anything to do with that as the elect. You have the bright woman, and then you got the black woman. You got the bright woman over here who has a soul, and you got the black woman who has a spirit. You have the bright man who has a soul, and you have the black man who has a spirit. And two cannot walk together. We're not the same. We vibrate on a whole different other energy. The so-called black, the black man. And the black woman, they want to be like everybody else. They want equality with everybody else. The bright man, the bright woman want supremacy. That's the that's the major difference. They want the bright man, and the bright woman want supremacy. The black man and black woman want equality. They want to be like everybody else, and because really they are like everybody else. They are part of the human race. They're not of the almond race. They're not of the almond race. They're always going to be Uncle Tom's and Aunt Jemima's. They're always going to follow the beats. They're always going to be emotional. They're always going to work against the bright seed, and they're always going to work against Amen. They're always going to be talking about, oh, you got too many black people in your organization, and oh, you know, you got you charging money to be in here. That's the that's the that's the that's the talk of the Eve seeds, because they always focus on people, place, and possession. Always, they cry babies. The males are cry babies, and they effeminate. The females, like I said, same same energy, same spiritual energy, same spirit energy. You understand that? Same spirit energy. You see that today, heavily. You see that today. That's why when the white man comes, comes across a bright man, right, who has his soul intact, who's strong, a real man or a real woman, they 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 turn right off. They they go right into into weak mode. They go right into soft mode. They go right into effeminate mode because they can't take the power of the bright man and the bright woman. They can't take that. They want the black man and the black woman. They want the black man and the black woman. They want the uh, clone versions of the bright man and bright woman. They want the watered down versions of the bright man and bright woman. Right? That's what they want. They want that those cloned, watered down versions that we converted over in our image and after our likeness. We converted them, so we did a conversion where we was the first ones to convert the soul into spirit, and then we did the creation where we bred the rest of the human race in the water and seeded them into the womb of the so-called black woman. That's how that worked, and some of us of the bright seed of the bright seed came through. These black genetics, but we kept our projection intact. The projection in the soul was kept intact. That's why, if you ever notice, you'll be the only ones in your family. You'll be looking at your family. They acting like a bunch of damn niggas, arguing and fighting and fussing and whatnot. Fo focus on people, place, and possession. But you're the only one looking at them like, why y'all acting like this? Y'all, you, you don't, like you don't even understand them. 
because you're not really of, of what they about. You're not about what they about. They look at you like you're strange. Like, she, he's strange. She's strange. They don't never. They, what's strange about you is you don't vibrate on the same frequency as they do. You're starting to develop a direct current to Amen. And they have an alternating current to everybody else. You start to move away from them because they're not of Amen. And you start to seek out those who are. Right? They acting like damn niggas and whatnot. You like, why? You, you just like, you just want to get away from them. You understand? You just want to get away from them. You don't want to, you, they always, always arguing, always fighting the fuck, because they, the, that's Eve C. Chaos and confusion. Eve C represents chaos and confusion. You understand that? That's what Eve C represents. They always got to keep something going. They don't want any law and order. They don't want that. That's why the so-called uh, the, the, uh, Illuminati the Zionist Jews, they the ones who are trying to step into place as the bright race. They want to step into place as the bright race. That's why they refer to themselves as Zionists. The word Zion means, or uh, Mount Zion means sun mountain. The word Zion means sun. They want to be the Zionist or the sun people. That's really what they want to be. They want to step in the role as the bright race. They know the bright race is real. They know the seeds of Amun are real. They want to step in that place. They want to step in that place and, and maintain the law and the order on the planet. That's what they want to do. And ever since they, the power was put in their hands temporarily, that was supposed to be their job, to maintain the law and the order. Right? That's why if you hit notice, the Jews are always talking about the Torah, the law, and stuff like that. What law are they talking about? What law are they talking about? They say they are the chosen people and everybody else is um, goyim or pigs and whatnot because they really want to step into the role of the bright race, of the almond seed, of the almond race. They want to step in. And they want everybody, they want all of us going. They want all of us to be black people that they control. And they want to stop the bright seed, the soul seed, the solar seed from coming through. They want to stop that because they want to be the one. They want to be the chosen people. They want to be the elect. But they know they're not. They know they're not. So they're trying to fit themselves into the bloodline. They trying to fit themselves in. They think they can fit themselves in by laying with the black woman because they think that the black woman carries soul. But what they don't understand is the black woman ain't got no soul. Neither did the so-called black man. They got spirits. That's why they lay down with the beast. They got spirits. And they will always believe that there's no difference between them and the rest of the uh, uh, human race. But when you start to realize that you are of the almond race and you're not of the human race, that's when the projection happens. When you come into the Republic of Mentelec, you really should get that projection. When you come into the Republic, you really realize that you understand what the Republic is for. Then you ain't worried about people placing possession no more. You ain't worried about that. But when you never get it, when you don't understand it, when you're still talking about, oh, it's black people in here, I, you know, you got some black people, or oh, you know, you want a hundred dollars, you you worried about people placing possession. You never really got it. You never understood what this is really about because you are of the black race. You are of EC. You're always going to be focused on the things that are unimportant. You're never going to be focused on the real important thing, which is Amen, the power and the collective. You'll never get that. That's fourth dimensional. You're always going to be 3D. Some of you ain't even 3D. You ain't even up to 3D yet. Some of you still 2D. Some of you just about possession. You're not even people yet. Some of you are nothing but possessions. You're, nothing up, you're about nothing but possession. You understand? Some of you are never going to get that. That's okay. As time is going forward and Amon is extending the elect, this truth is coming out more and more. I'm going to take a call. 214. 214. 214 going once. 214 going twice. 214. All right, I'm not hearing anything. Got to call back. Got to fix your phone, 214. Tried to call you. Tried to um, take your call. I wasn't hearing nothing. All right, this is real. This is real. I'm trying to give it to you as plain and as simple as it really is. I'm giving it to you as plain and as simple as it really is. This is not a game. This is real. We're dealing with uh, principalities beyond the flesh. We're dealing with spiritual energy, and we're dealing with solar energy. The soul energy is first. The spiritual energy is second. The almond, the almond seed is first. 
the Eve seed is or the human seed is second. And take another call. Six four six. Yes, Moon Zach Mazor. Um I had a question. Um there okay. I'm noticing now that a lot of shows that was um had their hits on like in the seventies and the eighties, um, they mm-hmm. are repeating the same thing. Like it's just the same the same show but like mm-hmm. different like you know what I mean? So being that I was listening to one of your broadcasts that your thoughts are not your own. Do you think mm-hmm. that's a, that's affecting someone's um, um, credibility? You think and what are your well, thoughts on that? He said, "Are they? Is it is it affecting somebody's creativity?" Yes, yes, that's correct. Well, um, again, you don't. The show well, that's I, on like on on TV series. I'm sorry. Well, like I said, you got thoughts that come from two places. They're either going to come from this three-dimensional state or those which are new or next level are going to come from the fourth dimension. There's nothing coming. There's no such thing as my thoughts or anybody or your thoughts or any creativity. The lot, a lot of the thoughts that are in the three-dimensional state are just recycled. They're recycled thoughts that come down. They start directly with the almond being. All things start with the almond being, and they're transmitted down here. And what mankind does is he will take them and water them down. Right? They're not even his thoughts. The beast will take them and water them down or to stretch them out to make it more palatable to people, but it comes directly from Armin, and he'll change things around and whatnot, mix things up, or he won't get it totally, and then he'll give it to the masses. And by that time, it's become three-dimensional, and when I took it, he took something from it. Right? So he's, once it gets locked into this three-dimensional state, it's just going to go in a rotation. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no nothing new coming like they said, and that's right, there's nothing new under the sun, meaning three-dimensional, unless it is coming directly beyond the sun or through the fourth-dimensional state. That's the only thing, mm-hmm. time things are going to be altered in the three-dimension. Okay. Yes, because that was what I was, like, noticing, because, like, this, like, old episodes, like, um, for instance, Roseanne, um, the Full House, is, like, repeats of the same, is the same thing. You know, it's the same, um, the same cast, but it's just repeat of the, of the, you know, same I mean? stories. The same story, exactly. Yeah, well, they don't, they don't have anything new. Everything in the three dimension is recycled because it's not receiving any light from the fourth dimension, from that projected light from the fourth dimension, which extends things. If you're not receiving any light from the fourth dimension, that which, which extends things, then everything that's done is going to be recycled. That's why I said the people who were created in the three dimensional state, your human race. Your Eve seeds, everything they always do the same thing over and over and over again. That's why I say it's a, it's going to always be the um, different bodies, but the same demons or the same spiritual possessions that are taken over. And these people say and do the same thing. I seen it in here when those people came in here. They said and did the same things, and it, it's the same thing over and over again. It's always going to be the same rerun. It's never nothing new because these people are not of the new, and they're not of the next. They're of the rotation. They're of the Creation. The creation is nothing but a uh, on uh, nothing but an infinite rotation of the same thing over and over again in three dimensions. Okay, I will continue to listen. Thank you so much. Mhm. All right, Benzak. All right, we're gonna play a little bit of music. Uh, I hope I came in clear. I'm hoping, uh, you know, because I put a lot of stuff out there, and I wanted I wanted to make sure it was ultra stood. And whatnot, because that's what this radio broadcast for. I don't like when people, you know, ask me questions on Facebook or inbox me. This is the time to ask me questions. You can ask me anything you want to ask me concerning this topic, and I will answer you. You know, I will answer anything concerning this topic. All right? So this is the time, if anything, this is the time to ask me. Please do not ask me anything uh, in any inboxes or any or, or text or t- uh, you know, inboxing me questions, ask me directly now, right? And I tell people this all the time, you know, um, put your questions together, you know, think about them, you know, let them be um, fully thought out so I can give you a fully thought out answer to them so there's no confusion, okay? So we'll be right back. All right, I'm going to take a call. 
Peace, Nubin. Peace. Peace? Peace to you. Oh, okay. This is Sharice. I'm good. This is Sharice. Um, oh, I doing? just wanted to thank you for thank you for teaching as well, teaching. Um, and speaking with me and telling me that I could find work that I wouldn't have to compromise myself for. Now I'm going back to school and getting a job and also selling plates on the side. And I just, I'm really grateful. I'm going uh-huh. and I'm listening. Right. Oh, and my sister is living too, so she wants to um, ask you a question. Okay. You said your sister's what now? My sister, she's listening with me. And I, when you, okay, when okay. you mentioned the comment about um, people, you know, asking you to write questions, I just called her in here because she wanted to ask you something. So. Okay. All right. All right. Hi, Dizen. My name is Savannah. Um, How are you doing? I had the question. I'm doing good. Um, I have the question. Um, <clears throat> so if I am interested in women, but I choose to put that behind me and sacrifice that and be with, you know, um, a man, would that mean I would be accepted into the Republic of intellect or? What? What? Let me. I'm trying to understand. You said you were. I'm saying, what, what would you say? Say everything again. You said it good because I kind of didn't hear everything. Say it one more time. Um, I, I said if I was interested in women, but I was able to, I was willing to sacrifice that and put that behind me and um, be with a man. Would that mean I could be um, elected into like the the public of intellect? Yeah, I, I could. I, um, I wouldn't see a problem with that only because. I said this, and this is going to sound kind of funny, but I'm going to just say it anyway. I say a lot of time when you women are doing that stuff, and you, like I said, you you touch another woman, lay with another woman, a lot of you are under that mental control of the beast, and y'all really not into women like that anyway. And y'all not really doing nothing but not not for real. And it's different with men doing stuff like that. That's why we would never take any gay men or ex- men who were gay. But we'll take a, you know... A woman who turned herself around and whatnot and stopped doing that because, like I said, y'all don't never really do nothing, you know. I don't, that might sound kind of like a double standard, but it's, in a way, it's not because, you know. I mean, once men touch each other, they they tamp it with like that and they penetrate in each other. That's just, you know, that's a whole other different realm. We ain't even dealing with that. But yeah, turn yourself around, get you a man and whatnot, you know, a real man, somebody of the right. Yeah, well, like I said, that's not an issue. Alright, thank you. Because you know, most of y'all messed up off of that anyway, following the beast anyway. So, you know, he pushing that whole pansexuality thing. You're welcome. Alright. Peace, Susan. Thank you. Alright. And I'm going to say this too. I'm going to take your call, 704. Uh, you know, even some of you um, sisters who was with the white man at one time, and then you said you, you woke up and realized that you're not of the human seed, but you're of the almond seed, you could turn that around. Y'all could turn it around because sometimes y'all do things and you're not, you don't, you're not willing to, you know, some of y'all could turn that around, you know, you know, but I would suggest you stop that. You know, some of you can't, you know, you know, so let me go ahead and take another call. 704. Good evening, sir. Good evening. All right. Um. So you were saying that there was a part in the brain that would be that that can be grown to um like receive direct current from Amen. And you said it would need um we need metals in our body to be able to con did you say we needed to be able to conduct um an electromagnetic charge? That that said the um I said you, it's in the cornuomonas. The cornuomonas yeah. is a part in the brain, it's a stem in the brain, and it has two. It look, it resembles um, a serpent, or you know, you could look at it how so it looks like two horns. One of them is, you know, both of them are supposed to be for transmission, but only one is used by the human race, and that is what's called alternating current or transmission or reception, that gives you the ability to communicate with the rest of the so-called human race. And the second, the first one. Well, that's the second one. The first one is the direct current 
of the um, uh, carnival monus, which would give you direct current or connection to the almond beings of that future race of those creators. Most, the majority of people are not going to get that. All right. I see that. Um, so you said it can be grown. Is there some sort of um, nutrition no, or exercise? With no, it's nothing to grow. Oh. There's nothing. To, I never said it could be grown. That's going to grow in certain people who are of the elect, the okay. ones who are, you know, of the elect who are in the republic and who are really in the republic who are going to be here, who are going to go with that flow. The ones who are outside, it's not going to be grown in them. They're of the they're of the human seed. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm um. You know, I'm uh, saying that the uh, connection to Amun, right, is a direct current. The connection to Amun is direct current, right? And in the direct current, there's continuous transmission. This is why you'll see that that direct current is only registered to elect people, who those persons who are outside of this uh Extended who are out, uh, who are part of this extended transmission or the bigger picture, they're part of it, right? They're part of that extended picture or that transmission. You know, so if you are not part of that, if you can only see in three dimensional, then that means you're not a vomit. You can't make yourself be a vomit. Either you are, or you're not. Either you see the bigger picture or you don't. A lot of people don't see that. Right, and you're only lying to yourself because you'll always work against it in some way, shape, or form. You'll always work against it in some way, shape, or form. You'll have a problem going with the collective, going with the collective flow of energy, that solar energy. You will, you'll fit. You'll, you're not going to fit into it. And like I said, people who already came in the republic, you see, we've seen it already. People that come in here and everything and be peaceful and whatnot, and they always got to break the energy with some sort of chaos and confusion. They have to bring in some kind of spiritual low grade frequency and break that energy. So the ones who are who can work within the collective in this solar conduction and whatnot, the ones who can work within that, there's always a transmission that's going forward. They're always extending themselves forward and whatnot. So like I said, they work within the flow. That's the elect. The ability of the elect is to work within the flow of currency. The flow of this transmission. They work as a collective. Right? That's why, if you ever notice, people are surprised when they see so-called "quote-unquote" black organizations like the Nation of Islam. They were the in this in, in the last millennium, they were the first of the elect to be raised. They were the first, right? Even though you had black people in the Nation of Islam, you had some bright people there. Alan Elijah Muhammad even understood that you had some bright people there and whatnot. That's why, and the so-called white man recognized him as a bright man. That's why the Alan Elijah Muhammad wore that crown. He had those stars and crescents and suns all over there, which represented points of light or brightness. You know what I'm saying? His crown was different, or his fez was different from the Masons. It was different from the Muslims. He had suns, moons, and stars all over his crown. Nobody never saw nothing like that before. Nobody ever saw that. because And he wore a clean face. That was a sign of that time that he was a bright man. All the symbols and the images you wear, right? Like I said, you people who, a lot of you people who are of the Eve seed, of the Eve seed you beast men. You hair hair all over your face, you beast men. Right? You're, men of the, you're beast men because that hair all over the face and stuff like that represents that of a beast man. Right, that man presents that you are of the beast. You are the beast man. That's why a lot of you so-called black men, y'all wearing that hell over your face right now. Right, you wearing the hell over your face and whatnot, and you know y'all, you know, in this day and time, you know, in this day and time, you doing that. The ones who are cleaning themselves up, and he put that uh, uh, that symbol on his uh, that uh, crown on his head. That represented that connection as a solar being or a light being, one of Amun, man of the Lord. A man, a true man and a true woman of the Lord are not fearing the Lord. They're not uh, God-fearing or the fearing of any uh, of supreme power or the Lord. They're not fearing of that. All right? Let's take another call. 347. Hello? Hi, Nuri. It's Mark. How you doing? Fine. I have, ahead, I have one question. All right. So, do like 
the people like the, um, of the Eve seed that are so-called spiritual, and even those that are not spiritual, like they get law and order and stuff, but they're against judgment. How does that if you work? Were, if you're against judgment, then you're against law and order. You can't have it both ways. you got to be, uh, um, you have to be, you know, you, it all has to work one, uh, in one way, shape, or form. You either you got to accept law, order, and judgment. The same way the beast, you know what I'm saying? He he pushes chaos, confusion, and degeneracy. You have to push law, order, and judgment. You know, as a higher principality, and that higher principality in the fourth part would be Amun. So there's no such thing as oh, I accept law and order, but I don't want judgment. The people that don't want judgment, those are the Eve seeds. That's the Eve seeds. Okay, because I was listening to somebody uh, talk and. They always say there's no judgment here. There's no judgment here. Um, and I was always like, there's always judgment. You can't live without judgment. Like, it's like not. It's like trying to live without air. How can you live without judgment? That doesn't make sense. It's, it don't is, make right? sense because because those people who say that they don't want to be judged. That's the E C. See the E C. Just like everybody, you know. But the, especially the E C. They're going to be judged. The elect are going to be judged too. They're being judged on a whole different level. The elect are being judged to see if they are fit to receive power on earth directly from Amun. And we're being judged as those in the Republic of Mentelec. We're being judged right now to see if we're fit to stay in the Republic of Mentelec, to see if we are in alignment with this collective body, which is the Republic of Mentelec, which is Amun's covenant, which is the elect 144,000 that's being gathered in this day and time. We're being judged right now. And we are being brought in to Amun's covenant and whatnot to see if we are fit to receive Amun's power on earth that collect as a collective body. And those ones, those E seeds, they're being judged, right? And they're being judged to see if they're going to continue in the third dimension to be destroyed and converted into something else, probably something lesser. But they're not even looking at they're not even looking at the seat of power. They, they, the E C S they 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 they're gonna just be basically used as tools. Wherever they go, whether it's a lesser state or a higher state, it's always gonna be in that rotation of three as being used as uh, people, place, and possession as tools. Okay. Oh, and since you mentioned um, conversion, they're gonna be converted into something else, right? And being converted into something lesser because, yes. you know, their spirit, the spirit energy of the Eve seeds can go into animals, right? They can go into inanimate objects. They can go into anything because all things on earth have some sort of energy that uh, that is governed by. You got chairs, walls that carry spirits in it, energy in it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just lesser states of energy, but it's all energy. So I'm, that's when I say it might be converted into something lesser. You know, like I said, your spirit might go into a cat or a dog. Those E C. Yeah. I'll, okay. I wanted to add on to that because I, I'm, I've been studying um energy and how and how it moves like the difference between like spiritual energy and um solar energy, and I noticed that with solar energy, there's it's only it can only rise. <laughs> there is no like going into a degenerate state with solar energy unless that degenerate state is programmed in you sub mentally without you being aware of it. But it can only rise and that means with every rise of a solar energy you will have to take on greater forms and greater states of what you are in the present. And then with spiritual energy Due to the fact that it only rotates and it goes in a rotation, it can't rise at all. It was never meant to rise. It was only meant to go in rotation in lesser forms, depending on if you become real degenerate in your ways and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said that before. I know. I know. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right. All right. Take care, bro. Bye bye. All right. Yeah, like I said, you know, the Eve seeds and the almond seed or the serpent seed, like I said, that one is con- the serpent seed is continuous. The same way that serpent seed generates on power, and I said that in the direct current because I was putting up pictures of the serpent. I said in the class, I said the serpent 
the electric eel, which is really a water serpent, they move on direct current. And those who are of the almond seed are going to move on the same direct current. They're going to move on the same direct current as those of the elect or those of that chosen power or the almond sense. They're going to move on the same direct current, right? But And they will lessen their connection to the alternating current. They will lessen their connection and their uh, uh, encounter or interaction with the alternate current. In other words, like when you say things like you want a direct and a straight answer, you, you say you want a straight answer to something, and people giving you all kinds of... Uh, 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 going around beating around the bush and trying to say other things other than what you want to hear. That's the mindset of the alternating current or the Eve seeds. They, that's the mindset. They never, they're never straightforward with anything. They double minded and two faced. They double minded and two faced. They're never straightforward with anything. All right. This is why they're in. The, that's why they're in the state they're in right now. This is why they're in this state, like I said, but they were created to be that way. They were created to be double-minded, right, because they were not able to have an understanding of complete projection because they're not of the projection. When you're of the projection, you understand the oneness and the extension of projected thought, projected solar transmission. You you have an understanding of it. You have a complete comprehension of that, but when you are not um, extended and your thoughts when you are three-dimensional, things have to be broken in two parts. Things have to be broken in two parts because your mind cannot perceive of anything that is not dualistic. Even when I tried to explain the whole I, the whole mindset of the uh, of the fourth dimension and the extension, the three-dimensional people don't get it. They still want to keep going back on about person, place, and the people, place, and the possession. They still want to keep going on about that. They still want to go back and forth and interact and whatnot and get energy off of people, place, and possession always. Three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. Hi, Menzak. Menzak. Hi, um, this is in last and Bill, um, Holland. Uh-huh. I, I just had a question on in regards to the topic on tonight. Um, I know you spoke about the E C, right? The E C is basically of the three dimensional um uh-huh. um aspect, right? Like the possession of people and places, right? And uh-huh. the people that that is a part of the E C they have the beast, right? Mhm. So that would consist of both men and women. That's correct? Yeah. Both black all men right, and so a black not... woman, yeah. White man, okay. white woman, all of them. All right, so I just had two questions to ask. The first one is in regard to um, homosexuality because I know that you explained to the young young lady that how you would accept a former lesbian who, you know, had a past life or whatever the case might be over a man that was an actual homosexual. So my question was, why is it permissible to accept a woman that was a former lesbian and not a man that was a homosexual and both, you know, man and woman not in the right state of mind? Okay, because... When a man, because women don't, when women are doing lesbianism, they're not really having sex. Sexual intercourse is penetration, okay? When a man penetrates another man, that's sexual intercourse, all right? That is, you know, that right there is an abomination against the Lord. Women are not penetrating each other, so technically they're not even really having sex. That's why. I'm not okay, saying so I'm not. Let me, let me let me just say this. I'm not saying I agree with that. But hold on. Of a man and a woman, because if you're saying that a woman, they're not dry humping, they're not doing those things or whatever the case might be. They actually have an exchange with it. You know, I don't want to get so explicit with it, but you, it's more than just what you're just saying. If you're going to judge that activity, you're saying that a man being penetrated has got a woman that will go down on another woman, and that's exchange of fluid. So that's all degenerate. You're right. But everything, everything, like I said, in this society is being degenerated in some way, shape, or form. But when you have grown men who are engaging in something that is, you know, that kind of intercourse like that where it's penetration, that's totally different. Because even men, like I said, that's, you know, even amongst men and women, even so-called lesbian women, 
they'll see that as an abomination of men doing something like that, you know, where they doing something unnatural, where they penetrating each other like that through the anal cavity, that's going into the bloodstream and things like that and bringing all kinds of uh, um, bacteria into that. So that in itself is penetration in a, se- in a form of sexual contact, whereas the women are not really doing anything sexual. They're not penetrating each other. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. You going off the the whole fact of penetration, and what I'm saying is that it's it's still an abomination both ways. Because like I said, you got a woman that will go down on another woman. That's the exchange of fluids going on. Anything can happen between that. So I feel like a double standard is like having a double mind. So if you say no to a homosexual, it's no to a lesbian as well. I mean, yeah. I mean, technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. That would be, but like I said, if we did that, if you if you start to say that, then mm-hmm. you would be outlawing a lot of women who have participated in that. You had certain women, a lot of women, especially in this generation, who participated in that activity, and they might not say they did. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But they've done mm-hmm. that in some way, shape, or form. They might have kissed another girl or touched mm-hmm. another girl in some mm-hmm. kind of way, shape, or form, or whatever the case may be. And you might have those who might be honest about that. And those who may not, people are going to lie about that. Because ultimately, like I guess I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right at all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I'm not saying it's right at all because you never really know. You might have um, a man who will come in here, right? He and could, hold on, let me I'm sorry I don't want you to cut you off, but a man could also come in here like a, a heterosexual, and he could have had a past life, and you won't know. So the whole fact of the matter is you judging the activity of what they've done, or you judging their mindset. That's what you got a question. Yeah, well, that, well, of course. That I'm saying you're judging the mindset because, like I said, you never really know. You don't know. In this world of degeneracy, you don't know who did what. But ultimately, like I said, if I'm saying if a man came in here and he said, you know, I'm an open homosexual and I want to join the Republic of Mental like the answer is, of course, no. Just like if a woman came in here and said she's an open lesbian and she wanted to join the Republic of Mental like the answer is no. Okay, so what if, like I said, you have a man coming in, he say he was a former homosexual, or he's been molested, or whatever the case might be, you mean to tell me you'll turn him down if he's saying that he don't want to be a, no, have no associations with that part of his life, or whatever, and he's changing his life. You would say no to him? To somebody who said they got molested? Or that, that they had a past life of homosexual, like being a homosexual, one experience with a man, and that was it. Well, most it well, wasn't most, an, uh, well, most, well, most men are not going to admit to that. So if you're coming here and you're telling me something like that, uh-huh. uh, not after we said that we don't accept that and you're letting that be known, you're giving information that does not really concern me about your past, then that still means you're focused on people, place, and possession. And just for that, you could get turned down. That's and that's not, likewise with a woman that comes and asks you if I was a lesbian or whatever the case might be, can I come in? Because you got to understand, women that are part of the East, they really manipulative. Mm-hmm. And you have to understand that. So the same way how you go off of the judgment and the activity, you also have to judge their mindset. Because anything that's of the beast, they they mind is degenerate. And I feel like it, you know, if they stain by their past, it's like being branded. Like a, having a branded mark. If they was doing, you know, you know, degenerate things, there's nothing that you can do. Like for example, you said if uh, not to go off tangent, you said if Jay Z and Beyonce asked to join the um, Republic of Mental, like you said you would not accept them. It don't matter how much money they have. Why? Because you said that basically they're lost souls. They don't have no type of connection, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so it's the same thing. You're talking about degenerates, right? Mhm. Yep. Yep. All right, so that's that's so that's all I wanted to know. Well, I mean, that is true, but like I said again, you know, you never have really have no way of knowing that because again, people do a lot of wrong things here in the society, and they, you know, they under that mindset, but that's really not them. Mm-hmm. Like I could see you saying a, a young a man who got molested. And mm-hmm. whatnot, and you know, as a young boy, that he's not responsible. But once you make that decision as a man to live that lifestyle and whatnot, and you have that attraction for men, 
that's not something that you can just stop doing. You know what I'm saying? That's something in you to make you want to put your hands on a man. So, mm-hmm. again, that's a that's a, a degeneracy of a whole other level because nobody even in they you know, it's it's a total different energy. I'm going to show you something else. It's a total different energy when you tell somebody, when a man tells somebody he was once a homosexual, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's going to look at that man like, you know, he's always going to be branded. But if a woman says she did some sort of, uh, uh, I'm not saying, I'm not saying this is right. But if a mm-hmm. woman says she did some kind of activity or whatever with another woman and she said, I don't do that anymore, she's more likely to be accepted as a woman and, you know, being in that role and, and that, mi- that mindset of a woman and not be branded as opposed to a man. Because, again, what is the stigma? The stigma is penetration. The man got penetrated or he penetrated another man. That's the perversion in itself. Okay, so what, is, what about a man that's been raped? And he's not a homosexual, but he's been raped and penetrated. That's different because he didn't do that off his own free will. He was forced into doing it. That's different, just like being molested. That's different. But if he's okay. if he's like, I'm I'm just gonna be a homosexual, I'm gonna be an out and out homosexual, and I'm li- just living that life, mm-hmm. then that's different. So that's you no. Know, so just like you said, if a woman say I'm a lesbian and she come out open like that, that sh- that the answer is no. The answer is no. Okay. All right. That's all I want to know. All right. Thank you. Like I said, I'm not trying to be double-minded. I'm not trying to have no double standard on nothing like that. I just want, and I thank you, in Ross and Deirdre, because, like I said, I, I like the challenge and whatnot. Because sometimes if she think I'm having a double standard, she'll come at me and whatnot. And so it's it's all love and whatnot. It's no it's no issue and whatnot. It's just like I said, you know, you know, it's just you know, I gotta gotta keep it, you know keep it balanced, you know, in that aspect anyway. Got to keep it balanced, you know. So, because again, a lot of um, a lot of these uh, people are influenced right now because, the, like they said, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked and everything is about confusion right now. Everything is about confusion. Confusion of sexuality, alternative lifestyles, confusion of faces, and the Eve seeds will embrace that wholeheartedly they will embrace those alternative lifestyles and whatnot because they are chaotic and confused about one state they are chaotic and confused take another call 414 greetings brother newman how are you greetings so i just want to say i appreciate uh the sister uh sister Sandra that came on and asked those questions because i actually had the same type of questions that popped in my head um, after the young lady, you know, stated that she was openly interested in women and or a lesbian lifestyle. Um, because I know quite a few uh, lesbian and um, homosexual men. And one thing that I gathered from these people, um, which were associates, um, companions, and friends at some point, that at a young age they were all – like sexually violated or molested or raped, and the majority of them live some type of alternative lifestyle in regards to the same sex. But there are some what I, I guess you will call reformed as men that choose not to live um, that lifestyle. Like they actually got wives now, but I'm not sure. Like if mentally they still think about being with a man due to, like, their experiences as a, a as a young adolescent. And so a lot of them aren't necessarily, like, homosexual, but, so for instance, one of them, one guy, he was, like, molested uh, by a pastor as a young child at the age of six all the way up until uh, 17. And so now he's openly a gay man, well, he thinks he's supposed to be a gay man because, he, you know, that happened to him as a, as a young child. And I don't really think that he is interested in men, but he's been basically, like, programmed like that since a child to be, like, a, a gay man. So mm-hmm. that was very interesting for her to uh, bring that to, like, your attention because I don't know what the previous young lady situation is that made her – even want to be, uh, I guess, interested in women in that type of way. But it's usually something that, you know, triggers a person to want to, like, 
go the opposite or, or the same sex uh, way. And it's not typically like, oh, I just want to be like this. And then you got other factors I know, like things in the food that's like, you know, mixing up the uh, the hormones and things like that and balances. But a lot of them be uh, due to like situations that happen to children. And now they're just grown adults with these, with these issues and these imbalances in themselves. Yeah, well, I, I, let me say this, and uh, that's that's true too as well. But when you have men, see, because that's a hell of a thing to commit to. See, a, a, a real man is not gonna know that another man put his hands on him. I'm gonna just be real with this. A real man is not gonna know that another man put his hands on him or put his hands on another man. Nobody's gonna take you seriously as a man. No man's gonna take you seriously. Now, the woman, like I said, the woman, you know. A, a real hardcore lesbian will never say that I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice that and be with men because if because just same like like a homosexual a homosexual can't never say you know I'm gonna just go ahead and be with a woman after being with men for years it don't work like that like I but said you but have I to commit that's somebody, a, that's a, that's I know a, a few people let, let me that let, have let, done let that and they have wives and they have children now and I know yes, a lesbian but, who has a child or well, two children. Who was with a man at one point, and now she's reverted to being a lesbian. But her situation what? came from a childhood issue too, and she, you know, she kind of go back and forth where like, I could be like the whole bisexual thing. But so well, you, see, that's I, the I, thing. That again, that's like, that alternating. That's that alternating current, and that's that confusion again. Because a man, once a man is a homosexual, he's always going to be a homosexual. All that going and marrying a woman and having children with a woman. That's why if you ever notice, if a man ever tells a woman nine times out of ten, especially the black, so-called black woman, if he tells her that he's a homosexual, see how much she's going to want. And he, she goes, that's in my past. See how, she, how much she's going to want to be with him after he, tell, after he tells her. He goes, I'm reformed. I'm not doing that no more. Nine times out of ten, no woman going to want to be with him. And you know that. Because that's a whole yeah. different level of degeneracy. You let, you, you let a man penetrate you or another you penetrate another man. That's a whole other level of degeneracy as opposed to women kissing on each other or doing whatever they're doing and whatnot. That's not penetration. Again, I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying nine times out of ten, uh, that's like a whole other level of degeneracy. I mean, when you, let, when you start doing stuff like that because you enter into somebody in somebody anally and they bloodstream and all that in, infection and bacteria mm -hmm. so that's just a whole nother level because like i said no women accept no real women is accepting that right you know that's why men keep it in the closet they don't say nothing who do that and it, and it, who, uh, who have it, or who have done that or do you think it's also because of the like it's i feel like it's a double standard because i feel like once you are gay or or lesbian, whatever name tag you want to put on it, and you dealing with the same sex. You know, this is an unnatural manner for women to lay with women and men to lay with men in that fashion. Uh, that's even if a woman go and be with a man after having done such acts, she still ultimately thinks about being with a woman because she's experienced that before and she likes it to some degree. And although she'll go and be with a man, you know, and say that, you know, she's done that for women, ultimately she, she's thinking about that. Just like that same man that will ultimately be like, okay, I don't want to live that lifestyle as a homosexual. I'll refrain from that type of sexual act and I'll just get a wife. Ultimately, he's still thinking about a man or looking at men in that way when they're out about or on TV or whatever, however they come in contact with the same sex. They that's still a part of them because they that was the experience, whether it's their past, the future, or their present. Mm -hmm. You're right about that. You're right. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. But again, ultimately, like I said. That whole that penetration is a whole level, another level of degeneracy. It's like I said, it's like apples and oranges. Like I said, people will accept, and just in your mind, people will accept a, re, a, a, a reformed lesbian as opposed to a reformed homosexual because there's a reason why it's homosexual in his terminology as opposed to not um, not uh, uh, the word sexual in the woman's thing because they're not really having sex. Honestly, they're not. I'm not saying it's okay, but they're not having sex. That's not sex. So what are they? So what being what are two women doing if they engage each other in that 
way. What are they doing? <laughs> Wasting time and energy. That's what they doing. <laughs> Wasting time and energy. That's yeah. all. They ain't they ain't penetrating each other. They wasting time and energy. They doing they doing what's called simulated sex. All that bumping and grinding and kissing on each other. That's simulated sex. When you and when you yeah. enter it into somebody else, that that's 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 ain't that's sex. So you wouldn't you wouldn't uh perceive that to be like a form of homosexuality because if all the women on the earth or or whatnot choose to be just only with women and all the men choose to be with men, then who's procreating? The men no, are nobody's with procreating. I'm not... So that's like homosexuality means to not procreate anymore. No, homosexuality means to interest in the same sex. But uh, well, but yeah, then but the word... But what, well, let me finish. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me finish my answer. But what mm-hmm. is, what is, what is sex? Sex is penetration, right? Is it not? You're right. Absolutely. Okay. Sex is penetration. Are women penetrating each other? No, they're not. No. Okay. So then they're not really having sex. Men, when they penetrate each other, that's sex, and that's degenerate. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Like I said, I'm not saying one is right, one is wrong. They both wrong, but like I said, that's a whole nother level of degeneracy. Right? It's a whole nother level, you know. Because like I said, uh, uh, um, you know, I didn't mean to get off tangent and get off on, you know, uh, uh, like I'm team lesbian or I'm 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 like pumping my fist for any of that. I don't want to come off like I'm team lesbian or nothing like that. I hope it ain't understood that uh, it's misunderstood that way. I'm okay with women being lesbian. No, I am not. You know what I'm saying? I'm just get I just wanted to get that out there to say that. But um, you know, getting back into the topic, these alternative ways of thinking, these alternative lifestyles are accepted by Eve Seeds. They accept it by Eve Seeds. Right? They are accepted ultimately by Eve Seeds and whatnot. And they live by that because Eve Seeds will always follow the beast. They're not following Amen. And like I said, the biggest thing that these people who are of Eve seed are doing right now, they following the whole variation of the woman. They worshiping the black female or the female in general. Right? They doing the worship of the woman over Amen. But that's what they supposed to do. That's what Eve seeds are gonna do. They're gonna worship and they're gonna work they're gonna worship the image of the woman. That's why if you notice in America they got the Statue of Liberty, which is the worship of what? The woman. What was the first image of the Statue of Liberty? The black woman. Right, the so-called black woman, the first Eve. Right, that was the black woman. The Statue of Liberty was originally a, a so-called bronze, but it was the first image of the black woman. And then you had the, uh, like I said, in um, in uh, in the Vatican City, they got the shrine of the Black Madonna. Again, the black woman, Eve. All that represents Eve seed. Right, all that represents Eve seed. Yeah. You know? Again, they're not putting up the image of the man and the woman. The man and woman is supposed to represent Amen. The man and woman, who are, who are real men and real women, they represent the bright race, which is the serpent seed. Um, um, that's not just the female seed, the woman seed. It is the man and the, the, man, the seed of the man and the seed of the woman. Whereas the mind and the body and the soul are in alignment. Both the men and women are. This is where the whole true term of soulmates comes from. I'm going to say this. This is where the true term of soulmates come from because, you know, when you are soulfully linked to somebody, mind, body, and soul, that's really the serpent seed right there. But when you hear the mentioning of the Eve seed, when you hear the mentioning of the Eve seed, right, by herself, that means she was not uh, linked with Adam. She's not linked with Adam. It's about Eve. It's all about Eve. Ain't that what they said? It's all about Eve. She's not linked with Adam. It's all about Eve. And in this society, does not the so-called uh, uh, does not the so-called white man he verinate the woman? Where in this society, if a man is fighting against a woman for the child, the custody of the child, who go, who's going to get the custody? The woman, right? Don't the woman always get the child? Unless she got to be really messed up. She got to be really like a degenerate for the man to get the child. You understand? She got to be really messed up and degenerate to get the child. Right? She has to be really messed up. You know? So, 
Just saying that, like I said, this is all about Eve. This society is all about Eve. You know? This is all about everything here is all about Eve. And when it's all about Eve and it's not about Amun, that's because what? They are all um, born of Eve, and they are disconnected from Amun. That's why, again, you got these males out here who have this uh, effeminate energy on them, this effeminate nature. You understand? They have this effeminate energy or effeminate nature on them. You understand that? I'm going to say something else about this. When two masculine seeds get together, it registers as weak. As uh, feminine, when two masculine, two um, males are, were supposed to be men get together as two strong seeds, they're going to cancel out as weak, right? It becomes weak. When two females get together, it cancels out as nothing because you got two effeminate or soft energies getting together that produce nothing. But two males going to get weaker and more degenerate to produce weakness. They get to the level of female, right? That's what it gets to that level of, you know? It translates as nothing. Because where do you go from woman? Where do you go? Where do you go from female to nothing? The man goes from masculine to effeminate, but where does the woman go? She can't be masculine. She act like she's masculine, but she can't be masculine. She can act like it. You understand? It, 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 really, uh, it really adds up to nothing. You know? It really adds up to nothing. You know? And like I said, people could disagree with me when I was breaking down the whole sexual thing, the sexuality thing. That's fine. It's all right. But the, like I said, nobody ever, nobody came against the whole I, the whole thing that I brought up about sex being uh, um, constituted as penetration. All right. Let me let me get to seven oh four. Seven oh four. Peace, Nugent. Um, it's Shanice hey. again. And mm-hmm. um. Coming like out of this, this spiritual energy, I just have a question about when the emotion is going to like fully fade because as I started like cutting myself off from certain people who didn't want to choose to save Armin, like I noticed that like I didn't feel like a emotional connection, like I had an emotional connection anymore. Cause I used to practice spirituality too and like I used to like try to love everybody but that didn't work for me. So when I was like guided to guided to this it was like it made sense to me, and I knew like this is where I needed to be. So um, I was just like curious about when is like the emotion gonna stop spinning? You said when the emotion is gonna stop happening? Yeah, like when it, because like it really is just like towards you now. Like I feel like a lot of energy towards you, and I don't like I wanted to cry as soon as I started talking to you, and I didn't know if that was like emotion or like just like some guilt coming out. You know, like I just. Um, yeah. You said you wanted to start to cry when you, that's because you it might be because you're hearing something that you're familiar with and you're connecting to it and things are being unleashed in you. You know, sometimes, you know, unleashing emotion is just that. You unleash an emotion and then you letting certain things go and you are developing into something else. You know. So we, I used to do this thing, right? And I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be the first one to admit it. When I used to hear Doctor York talk, my mentor, tears used to stream down my face when he talked. I don't know why; it would just come out of nowhere. Even when I hear Elijah Muhammad's voice, tears would just start to stream down my eyes uncontrollably, and I wasn't emotional. I was just tears coming. So it was the unleashing of something that was coming out, you know, upon hearing the truth and the power and the light coming from the words of those great men so maybe you're experiencing the same thing when you hear mental act coming directly uh, from Armin through me and it's unleashing something in you yeah that makes sense alright okay All right. thank you Okay. you're welcome let me take another call last call for the night 704 um, thank you again, sir. Um, I'll be quick. So, um, for me, whenever I tried to have, whenever I tried to experience emotion, it would always be like it would, it would never work out. It would just never work right, and then I wouldn't even be in control of like my body or things like that. Mm-hmm. And it would just feel weird. Is that a sign that I'm not supposed to even have emotions? 
I take that yeah, as a sign. Yeah, that is right. a sign. Because once you start, you go on that emotional, come up under that emotional energy, you immediately start aligning yourself with those who are in the spiritual form, in the spiritual essence, and you no longer have control over anything because emotions, once you get into your emotions or get into emotions, you give up control of your mind and your command of logic. You give it up. Yeah. I, I see that now. I most of the time I can't even um gather gather my thoughts, gather these thoughts correctly whenever I um used to be emotional or things like that. Uh mm-hmm. it yeah, it, it it was never working out. I never felt true to myself when I was like that. All right. But well, thank you. I got to go. You. You're welcome. Thank All right. You. Thank you. All right. All right. That was the last call, and I'm going to answer these questions. What is the difference between almond seed and Eve seed? Almond seeds are receiving direct current, and they're being gathered today in the Republic of Mental, like as the elect, the projected seeds of almond, the projected minds, bodies, and souls of almond are being gathered as the almond seeds or the serpent seed. The Eve seeds are the cloned and created seeds we on the earth that, again, that was bred in the water and seeded into the body of the first cloned woman on earth, which was the so-called black woman by the bright woman. She was bred in the image of the bright woman as the so-called black woman, meaning that she was made into a material form and material image and all life and seeds were brought into us. See, that whole thing about uh, artificial insemination, the first ones to do artificial insemination was the almond beings. That, what I'm describing here of seeding human life into the waters and whatnot is a big petri dish and then seeding them into the cloned women, which were your black women and whatnot, your Eve seeds or your African Eve, as they say, that is artificial insemination that I'm describing. The first ones to do it was the almond being. The beast is doing it second, second-handed. He's ca- he's carrying out second. The beast always does things in second. He never thinks of anything first. He's following out something that was already done. Is almond seed the serpent seed? Yes, it is. It is the serpent seed of power and rulership because they were the first ones to carry the serpent genetic on earth, and it is also a form of communication, quick communication. The serpent was used as that form of communication. That's why the serpent has an electrical current going through it, and it moves fast. Is the human race of Eve seed? Yes, it is, because they were of the creation. They are of the creation, and the, uh, which was first the conversion from the bright seed into the black seed and then the creation which was seeded into the waters, not the earth and not in the ground, but in the waters. Does the beast control Eve C? Yes, he does. The beast represents the so-called white man, the day, the elites, the Illuminati. They are the beast that control all the races within the Eve C, which is the human race. The Eve C is the whole human race today who are disconnected from Amun, and they are under the beast. Who controls Amun C? Amun beings control Amun C as the elect in this day and time. That is who controls the almond seed today. All right? And that's it. I'm going to close this out, this broadcast out. In the name of almond, by the power of almond, and almond we trust, and almond we think, and in almond we continue forward forever. Hail almond, hail the mentalians. I am the intellectual new Ben Mencari. This has been Mentelect Radio. Good night. If it's hell, I'm in, then it's hell us. hell us They tried everything just to spell us, to spell us. Fed us religion, religion. gave us fake gods Through all of that, all of that. We, beat the we beat the eyes Now we coming together under one flag, one flag. Colors red, gold, and blue. gold and blue Superman, superwoman, that's me and you, me and the, you. Infinite capabilities that 